Welcome to Noteboom Podcasts. We are here to help you learn more about your Mac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. We do this by providing tips and lessons from NoteboomTutorials.com. Let's get started and take a look at this episode's tip or lesson. In this video, we're going to look at how we can add the timer control to the control center. Just like with alarms and stopwatch, when we add the timer control to our control center, we have easy access to our timer. But there is an additional benefit. We can also set how long we want the timer to go for from within the control center, and we can see how much time is left from the control center. Let's see how we do this. Let's go to my iPad. So I'm in my clock app. Let's first go and add the timer to our control center. This is very similar to adding the stopwatch control and the alarm control to our control center. What we need to do is we need to go to our settings app. So I'm going to tap on the home button. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my settings app. Now what we need to do is we need to go to control center. And again, we go over to customize controls. Just like with stopwatch and alarm, what we do is we go down to more controls. These are the controls that are not added to the control center. If we look, you're going to see we have timer. I tap on the green plus, and I've just added the timer to my control center. So now when we go to the control center, I'm going to swipe up to access the control center. You're going to see we have our timer here. We can reposition it. If I wanted it below my stopwatch, what I do is I go back over to my settings, and then I drag the timer here below my stopwatch. To do that, we just take these three lines here and drag it until it is below my stopwatch. So now when I go back over to my control center, you're going to see we have the timer below the stopwatch. When I tap on it, just like with alarms and stopwatch, it opens up the clock app and brings me over to the timer. But also we can set the timer from within the control center. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the home button and now let's just say we're working in our calendar. And what I want to do is I want to set a timer. Maybe I'm cooking something. To do that, what we do is we swipe up, we get to our control center, but now what we do, instead of just tapping on this, what we do is we tap and hold on it. If I tap and hold on it, I can go and set my timer. Right now it is set for 15 minutes. All I have to do is just tap on start here, and it will start the timer. I want to adjust how long the timer is set for. We just drag these white lines up and down to adjust the time. So if I wanted to set it for 30 minutes. I just drag it to where it says 30 minutes. And now all I need to do is just tap on start. When I tap on start, we can see that the timer starts counting down. I want to pause it. I can go and pause it. To get out of the screen, I tap outside of my timer and I'm back in my control center. We can see that the timer is going by looking at the animated graphic for my timer control. If I tap on this, it opens up the clock app, and then we can see how much time is left. But also, let's go back to my home screen and swipe up. If I tap and hold on this, I can also see how much time is left. And again, if I want to pause it, I tap on pause. When I pause it, the button turns into resume. Again, to close this, we just tap outside of our timer controls here, and it closes. I want to go back to my calendar app. I tap on calendar. I'm back in my calendar app. I want to resume the timer again. I swipe up. I tap and hold. And now I tap on resume. I tap outside. I tap on the calendar. I'm back in the calendar. So that's how we add the timer control to the control center. We go to our settings app and then go to the control center. From there we customize our controls and add the timer to the control center. When we tap on it, it opens up the clock app and brings us to our timer. If we tap and hold on it, 
we can also set the timer. Once we set the timer, we tap on start and it starts counting down. We can pause it and then also resume it. If the timer is going, when we look at the control center, we'll see an animated graphic on the timer control. So that's how we add the timer control to the control center on the iPad. Well, I hope you found this episode helpful. If you did, you can find more by going to NoteboomTutorials.com. That's Noteboom. It's like notebook, but with an M, as in Mary. We have hundreds of lessons and tips available for you. Again, I hope you found this episode helpful, and I hope you have a great day. This is Dan, signing off.